Welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Let's go through the risk disclaimer. Trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, go to bookmap.com for more information. There is a free 14-day trial uh, period of the software platform. It comes with education. Okay, There is an educational course. Uh, there's four parts to it. It's about an hour each. And uh, and then there is the advanced order flow webinars. Okay, These start uh, at 11 o'clock Eastern time, so in about um, 27 minutes or so. <clears throat> and um, the two support each other. Okay, So the advanced order flow webinars, we go through the detail uh, in, uh, in the order flow what bookmap is uncovering and showing uh, and how to utilize that information. So you're going to be learning about order flow uh, and um, uh, that comes with the, uh, with the product. All right. So uh, the distinction here between the two uh, with the two webinars, uh, this webinar is to go through the basics of bookmap, understanding the details in the platform uh, and the functionality and what is displaying. Uh, and then, uh, and then we'll get into um, you know more more advanced analysis in the uh, in the second webinar. All right, uh, you also get other resources with the education. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Okay, here's where you can find bookmap. It's at bookmap.com. Uh, we'll just click on explore here. Uh, there is an intro video. It's just uh, a minute long if you want just to, to gain a quick understanding of what Bookmap is showing you. And let's just scroll down here. About Bookmap, the uh, webinar link here that you've uh, you found already. Uh, there is um, just in, in basic information of what Bookmap is. Uh, and um, as we scroll down, there's Bookmap for equities as well, not just for futures. Okay, uh, it comes with NASDAQ total view. Now you will need to purchase this separately. We have a special deal. Uh, we're not a data provider or broker. We have a special deal with uh, dev experts, okay, DX feed. It comes with the NASDAQ total view. Uh, and um, connectivity, let's get more into that. So uh, here's the dev experts uh, connecting to them and the NASDAQ total view uh, and last sale. Um, but uh, for the futures markets, um, we have uh, all of these different ways of connecting here, okay? Uh, through uh, through stage five, gain capital, they offer many of these different uh, plat or um, data providers, CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, um, IQ Feed, uh, et cetera, okay? Um, so as mentioned, we're, we're a platform, we're not a data provider. You will need to connect Bookmap to the live markets with one of these uh, data providers. Okay, if you need a data provider, uh, there is um, uh, a link here. So you can uh, uh, get a demo of it. Uh, it's just below the, the pricing page here, okay, or the free trial page. Uh, so let's go through that. All right, so uh, the, there's the basic um, and um, let me just make this a little bit bigger. Basic, advanced, and quant uh, bookmap offerings here. Now, there's really only one version of bookmap. Uh, it's the basic. Uh, the others uh, here, they have different features uh, that, are, that are added. Okay. Uh, so what you get for the advanced uh, is uh, the one-click trading. So you can trade right from the bookmap chart. This is a really big advantage because you can see the... Um, liquidity heat map in front of you. So uh, you can therefore optimize your entries, your exits, and and as well your, your trade management, so your stops and your targets. So for example, if you see high liquidity uh, and um, uh, let's say uh, it, it, your target is, is um, beyond that high liquidity, well, you know, if you want to, uh, uh, you might want to uh, take your target a little bit earlier in front of all of that high liquidity. Uh, and uh, you have a higher probability of getting uh, a hit before uh, a price and potentially could reverse, all right? So that's, uh, and you can hide your stops behind high liquidity is another example. Um, and then we have these proprietary indicators that go through um, order flow and just um, uh, understanding uh, the different uh, phenomena in these markets and uncovering 
uh, giving more transparency with our proprietary indicators. Okay, quants, you guys can reach out to us uh, for connecting your own data feed, your own proprietary indicators, etc. Uh, if you have those needs, just click on learn more. Okay, you can follow us here on Twitter. Uh, you can see uh, it's our Twitter handle at bookmap underscore pro, and you get the latest information uh, regarding bookmap. For example, uh, take a look here. This was just tweeted uh, half an hour ago. Uh, in the newer version of bookmap coming out, uh, we have a colored heat map here. As you can see, we, we have the grayscale, which is what we currently have, which I, I like quite a bit. Uh, but um, uh, you're, you're going to be able to see even more, uh, get more transparency and understanding here with the, um, with the colored heat map. Okay, this is really exciting stuff. I've taken a look at some of the uh, uh, demos here, uh, and um, uh, we're, we have a, a real nice offering uh, coming up soon. Uh, probably uh, end of the year here would be the new the new book map version. All right. Okay, and uh, you can follow us or subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Uh, so just uh, go through the basics here. Uh, for those of you who are new, go through the book map intro uh, videos here. They're very quick. Uh, just give you an understanding of what uh, is going on in Bookmap. Uh, there's an overview of Bookmap 6.0 right here. Uh, that's a little bit longer, 12, 12 and a half minutes. Uh, but uh, get a, an understanding of the of the functionalities uh, of Bookmap features and components. This goes through the details in the uh, features and functionalities. Okay. Uh, the order flow video snippets, uh, I would encourage you to watch these. These are examples of what we go through in the advanced order flow webinars, okay, in detail, right? Uh, a lot of the content is lifted from those webinars uh, and then just produced in a very concise video, okay? So um, uh, that's uh, what you uh, get with the um, uh, education, right? There's the educational course, and then uh, you get... Um, uh, the advanced order flow uh, webinars that support that content in the live market, okay? And we're not just going through and identifying uh, this phenomena. We're also looking for or anticipating price movement based on very objectively what we see, okay? What book map is uncovering? Uh, and then we can extrapolate that, that information and anticipate future price movement. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, let's look at book map here and we we'll just go through the basics. Look at the NASDAQ. Um, and um, unfortunately, I uh, got here a little bit late. So uh, the first um, 15 minutes or so of uh, uh, the market, uh, I, I don't have all of the open uh, data here from the, the cash open, but uh, we have plenty of data to look at here. Um, and um, for those of you who are new here, okay, uh, just want to go through the, the basics of what you're looking at here in Bookmap because this may look very foreign to you um, if uh, uh, you're accustomed to candlestick charts. So I'm going to turn on candlesticks. We, we offer candlesticks, um, and uh, we're going to turn off all of the other data here. So we're going to really simplify this, uh, and then we're going to add these layers of data uh, over time here, over the presentation, and just get a feel for what Bookmap is showing us. Okay, we're all accustomed to this view, right? Most of us. Uh, open high, low, close of a five minute period, for example. That's what this candlestick chart is showing us, right? Um, and, um, you know, you can read the, um, the, the wicks, the body, the color of the body, and start to gain an understanding of where traders might be positioning themselves at best. But there's so much more that is not displayed here. And this is a, a real problem because we're making financial decisions here. And uh, we're really uh, just kind of guessing uh, by looking at this kind of chart. Um, you know, looking at uh, candlestick patterns is at best, a, you know, a guess. I mean, we really don't know. Um, and, um, uh, well, we have a lot less information here, I should say. Um, and um, uh, the more information that we can uh, gain and understand from the market, more objective, transparent information, the better trading decisions we're going to make, a much better trading decisions. Okay, so uh, for example, uh, just looking at this, we have a volume subchart down here. Okay, that's the other piece of data that we have here. 
Uh, but um, uh, where did the volume trade exactly? Okay, what about little structures within here? How did they play out? Um, uh, who is the winner or loser in those little structural battles? Who's in control here? Uh, buyers or sellers? Uh, and uh, where did the volume trade? Okay, did it trade um, uh, within the middle of the candle at the end at the wicks? Um, what? What, how much traded exactly at that area, and what type of trader? Was it a, aggressive buying or selling? All of those questions are not answered here, and that's a problem, okay? And that's where Bookmap can answer it. So I'm gonna first turn on the historical best bid and offer, and this already will give us a lot of transparency in the market, okay? Because here's what, here's what happened within that five minute period like from this, between this candle and this candle here, okay? There's a little microstructure area here. Actually, it, it actually started back here, okay? And, uh, and, it, and it broke. It, we broke above the highs here, okay? That occurred here, okay? We can see it in this candle, uh, but um, uh, we have much better insight. Like, for example, uh, if you saw this candle and you're making a trading decision, well, okay, maybe I'll go long up here looking for extension and price discovery to the upside. Well, looking at this microstructure here in Bookmap, this is just historical best bid and offer. That's all we're showing here, okay? But j just based on that, we can we can start to understand uh, we kind of broke out from this area quickly, okay? So I'm looking for the aggressive buyers here, and I'm looking for a pullback to that area. And then maybe uh, we'll get uh, extension to the upside, okay? Now we don't get it. In fact, we see kind of a reversal pattern here start to, to form, okay? However, uh, if you took that trade and you uh, managed it uh, to dump off maybe a partial of your profit up here and move your stop up, well, you've just managed that trade really well and you're trading a strategy, okay? Based on what we're seeing in the microstructure here, that's giving insight uh, that the candlestick chart is not. Okay, so let's get into the uh, the volume now and answer some of those questions. Okay, so we show the volume here with the volume dots. In fact, uh, let's see. Let's uh, bring up the uh, let's restore it to default and maybe bring it down a little bit. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so these dots, okay, so now we have just two layers of information on top of this candlestick chart, okay? That's it, we have historical best bid and offer, and we have the volume dots, okay? So now we understand um, the um, the trades that uh, uh, took place, okay? What transacted at some of these areas? Okay, we're looking at uh, the aggressor here, uh, market buys and market sells. Someone hit the market buy or market sell button. Okay, let me show you what I mean here. Let's zoom into this little area here that we were just talking about because this this is uh, uh, it's kind of nice. Uh, we see the high broken here, and we saw the aggressor uh, on the buy side take over. Okay, and I'll continue to zoom in here and note these little pie displays. Okay, this is showing buying and selling. Okay, there's so many trades that uh, that take place here, and so many um, uh, events uh, that. Uh, uh, are, are executed here um, that we need to show this in the overall uh, delta. So you can see that three quarters of this is buying and about a quarter is selling. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit further and we're going to show you every single event that took place here. Okay, we are able to do that okay, by showing uh, this, uh, this data. This is really what occurred. Okay, now we're down at just thousands of seconds here. Okay. Uh, and that's a still rather slow, to be honest, in the high-frequency environment. It's uh, it's quite slow. Um, uh, but uh, uh, we can we can zoom in uh, for those of you who are um, you know trading algorithmically. Uh, we can zoom in here and we can we can break apart every single event and show you now here we're at micro level. Okay, and we can go down to nanosecond level. Okay. All of the events are here. It's all recorded in Bookmap. So what, what are we looking at here? All right, now as I zoom back out, note how we take all of these little events here, and we, we can use this data tip tool here uh, to hover over these areas, and it gives us the date, the time, what was on the ask here. So there's 25 contracts here uh, at this moment 
uh, at this price level of 63.19. And this dot is for volume of three. Okay, this dot here is for a volume of one. Okay, another one for three here, and one for two, and here's four. Okay, so we have all of this data, uh, but as I zoom back out, note how we um, aggregate this just graphically and give you the overall shape and understanding. This dot is pretty big now, and it's for a volume of 27. Okay, and look what occurred here, actually. Let's zoom in a little bit further. So we had the, um, this is this historical um, best offer, and this is the historical best bid. So someone hit the market buy button here, and uh, we have a number of events that took place, all for a volume of, uh, well, actually, um, uh, we're showing 31 here, okay? Let's zoom back out. Okay, it's 27 plus these uh, uh, these here as well, because there's a little bit of selling in here, all right? So um, uh, 27 plus this uh, four or five here. Okay, no, I'm sorry, four right here, all right? So you can see all the details. Uh, anyway, um, so let's uh, zoom, zoom back out and note how uh, I'm starting to um, consolidate and, and um, uh, compress my timeline together. Okay, as I do that, we st we're still giving you the overall shape of the volume. Okay, so it's all recorded, but we're still giving it to you um, graphically so you can digest it at higher time frames. Okay, and what occurred here? Because we don't trade off of millisecond level or nanosecond level. Okay, we're trading off of higher time frames. Now we're looking at a minute between each vertical dotted line. Okay, so here's that candlestick again, and here's what here's what occurred. And here we can see the aggressor take takes control. Okay, right in this little area here. Uh, this is one of the strategies that we uh, we go through uh, in the uh, advanced order flow is looking for pullbacks to these little microstructural areas. Okay, because we know who's in control here. All right, and we get that pullback here, all right? Okay, and you get even a better one here and here, okay? So, uh, I, and and this is where you would you would be managing that trade and, and probably dumping it off, or at least uh, that partial up in this area here, okay? And that would have worked out well for you. Okay, we're just talking for a number of ticks here, but as they zoom out, we can look at higher time frames uh, and really start to piece it together. Okay, so for example, now uh, we're seeing some weakness come in in this area here in the order flow. Okay, and this candlestick uh, is totally not showing us uh, any of that uh, information. We're not seeing this really quick move down like this and the aggressive sellers taking control of the market. Okay, we're down below these these other little swings down here. Okay, you do see that in the wicks. Okay, but you see how it rejected and came back in uh, as well. But where did it come back to? Well, here's the story. This is the, the the story that that has meaning. Is it came it came back to where the sellers took control in this little area here. This is the opposite of this this uh, that where I was showing you earlier. Okay, this is the buy side to the upside. Uh, you would have been stopped out. Um, uh, but you would have managed this uh, nicely to be able to gain and not lose anything. Uh, uh, on this one here, uh, you could you would be doing the same thing. Okay, so you'd be looking for the pullbacks. You get them. Uh, you would be taking uh, your partial profits uh, down in, in this level here or in some of these levels, uh, and then move your stop to break even again. All right, and that's just one strategy. But um, uh, anyway. Uh, that's what we're looking at here in the traded volume. Okay, and um, let's let's take a look now at the um, uh, the heat map. Okay, because the heat map is uh, uh, we want to understand not just the traded volume. Okay, we we want to understand as well um, where they're bidding and offering. Okay, uh, that's going to have a tremendous impact on price, and uh, that is usually consumed. Uh, for us as traders here in the dome, okay. And this is the dome and book map in these columns. Okay, we have some volume columns here: chart range volume column and a, and a session range volume column. Right, nice breakout to the upside. Um, so um, 
uh, this is uh, this is actually one of those reversal patterns we look for um, in uh, in Bookmap the uh, in the advanced uh, order flow webinars. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, save that maybe for another time. Um, okay, so where are the players? Okay, well that's here in the dome. All right, 6325. Look at 168 contracts up here. All right, so it looks like uh, that's where the market wants to go to trade. Uh, with there's high, there's high liquidity here okay, at 6325. Okay. Uh, market needs liquidity to trade, right? So we're identifying larger players here in the dome, and this is just the current snapshot of the dome, okay, of, of the uh, of the auction. And a current snapshot is really good. Uh, however, there's a problem with the current snapshot. It once these numbers change. Uh, that data is lost and it's not recorded historically, and that's where Bookmap solves the issue because we record it. Okay, so what what uh, occurs here in this? Let's just look at this little window right here. Okay, this is the current market window, and this is the current best bid and offer, and this number is last traded volume here. All right, uh, so uh, now we take the areas of high liquidity. And we'll paint them in the heat map, all right? In fact, let me adjust this heat map a little bit. All right. Okay, so then we paint that in the heat map here. Okay, so bright white area is high liquidity. Okay, down here we have 77 contracts on the bid okay, at 63.21. Okay, interesting they were here before uh, as well. You would you'd have to remember all of that, that they were here on the offer earlier and now they flip to the other side here on and they're on the bid at 6321 okay that'd be rather hard it you know and challenging to to remember all of that data by looking at the dome okay and just having to memorize that okay the, the book map solves this issue because here in this window we record that data and then it's projected onto the chart so let's let's zoom in here and let's take a look at this area right here note these little striations here Okay, this is all historically recorded uh, area of the uh, liquidity at 63.24 and a half right here. Okay, so note how it got brighter here and then it just got darker. Here's the recording of that right here. Okay, okay, now uh, someone came in with uh, more contracts, so we're just uh, uh, getting an update on that, on that heat map. Um, but that's what this looks like here. Okay. So uh, that's what these striations are. It's the adding and pulling of liquidity. What this allows you to do now is start to gauge and understand the traders at these areas. Do they want to trade? Do they have the intent to trade or not? If they're starting to add and pull, maybe not. You know, uh, the, the, we uh, there's something kind of uh, bearish here is showing that uh, we have high liquidity at 63.25. And guys are starting to front run that high liquidity, okay? And uh, they they want to be sellers at these lower areas, and that's uh, that's that's bearish, okay? They're being more aggressive on the sell side, okay? Now they're act actually being more aggressive here on the buy side too, okay? So we have a nice little battle shaping up here between buyers and sellers in this auction, and you can see how this auction is taking uh, uh, taking form here. Is trading between these two areas of high liquidity at the moment. Okay, now look at look at 22. Note how they're getting more aggressive here, and these guys are starting to pull up here. Okay, this looks pretty pretty good for coming up and testing 25. All right, let's just see if the aggressor the aggressive buyer steps in here, uh, and we can come up and and uh, uh, the market can trade up here into that area of high liquidity at 25. All right, so all sorts of things start to unfold uh, and we can start to understand the con context of the auction and the traders and their intent, okay? And this is what we cover in more detail uh, in the uh, advanced uh, order flow webinars, okay? So uh, you, you guys have a, a good understanding of the data, what Bookmap is showing you here, uh, and um, uh, now, uh, uh, next step would be to start to understand the uh, details in the order flow and be able to understand why the market, you know, we're, we're seeing the move take place already, okay? Uh, why the market is attracted to this area at 25. 
Okay, we can also start to look at little phenomena in here like this. Okay, this is high liquidity here that did not have intent to trade. Okay, in fact, this is a spoofing type of action here. Very, very high liquidity, and let's see exactly how much that was. We can hover over this area, and it tells me it was 90 contracts. Okay, it was in here for a very brief moment. Okay, it skewed the auction. Okay, there, there was a, a skew in the auction, and the aggressive buyer came in. Okay, and now, now we just traded through 25. All right, uh, and um, that skew in the auction plus that aggressor uh, coming into the market uh, leads to uh, uh, a, a movement to the upside. Okay, so this is, did they have intent to trade here? Uh, no, because they pulled. Okay, so their intent to me, it looks like was to uh, jump into the auction, show a lot of demand in the auction. Just think of an auction like uh, for a painting. And uh, all of a sudden there's, uh, you know, 20 more buyers that jump in and they, they say that they want to buy okay, at this price level. And, uh, well, if there's more demand, then price uh, moves up, okay? And uh, this kind of spoofing activity here is what gets high liquidity filled a lot of times, where you can, you can, you can start to see that unfold, okay? So now, uh, you know, let's just, let's zoom into this area and see if these guys were filled here, okay? So I can, I can answer that question. Was this liquidity here uh, at 25 that we were noticing earlier? Okay, it, it was actually, it actually came down to 130 contracts at this, at this moment. So they pulled, they started to pull some of that liquidity. It was 171 earlier. And then look at the, the trades and transactions here. Actually, I, I know exactly what traded here. 130 contracts traded here. What was on the offer? Or I'm, uh, yeah, on the offer here. 130. So did the larger player here get filled? Absolutely. Absolutely. Emphatically. We know that. This is fact. Okay. So now we're starting to identify this is real liquidity that was at that area. It stayed in the book. It traded. And uh, we see a little bit of movement through. Okay. But now we're starting to see uh, uh, you know, we see a bit of uh, selling come into uh, the market as well. Larger players are absorbing the um, uh, uh, the buying here, okay? And we saw the move the move down. Okay, looks like they want to absorb some more up here at 27. Anyway, you guys get the idea. I got to jump over to the next webinar. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, uh, and um, you can always uh, uh, give Bookmap. The, uh, a try here. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Go to the free trial tab here. Uh, and um, uh, if you need a data feed, you've, you've got it here. Uh, give it a shot and then uh, uh, come into the advanced order flow webinars uh, and uh, we'll, we'll go into more detail. A lot of this information. All right. Now, I know a lot of you guys here are already in the, the uh, um, live order flow um, or advanced uh, webinars. So uh, it's good uh, because uh, uh, we have uh, lots of, uh, uh, you know, get that foundation uh, here, ask questions about the software, and then jump to the, to the next one to understand the details here, okay? All right, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. All right, thanks guys.